What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Saints. And I got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion for you today. It's a good one, and I think you're going to like it. So, a sub of mine and a friend of mine, Mr. Luster Eccles, was gracious enough to bless me with a decant, a sample size decant of a fragrance that is really, really popular right now. Everybody's talking about it. Um, it's a good fragrance to have this time of the year. So I'm gonna give you, it won't be a first impression because I've tested it for a couple of hours now, gotten it on my skin. And the minute that I smelled it, it brought me to mind of a couple of different fragrances. So first, the fragrance that I'm talking about is from the house of John Paul Gaultier and it is the new Lamal Elixir. Well, it's fairly new, it's been out a little while now. So <clears throat> to the elephant in the room, Let's just get this out of the way. Does this fragrance smell good? Yes. It smells really good. Would I buy this fragrance? No. No, I would not buy this fragrance. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, you know, in another video, we talked about how many fragrances does a man need and how many is too many with two O's, T-O-O. -O. Here's why I would not buy that fragrance. From the house of Cremo, it is spice and black vanilla. Now, if you're a sub of mine and you've been a sub of mine for any length of time, then you know your boy is gonna tell you the honest truth. The biggest difference between the uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Lamal Elixir, and Spice and Black Vanilla by Cremo is the price. This you can pick up at Walmart for about $20, maybe $21 after tax. This is gonna run you, run you around $150. You do the math. And the biggest difference in the note breakdown, this one has spices and vanilla. This one has spices and vanilla. The biggest difference in the note breakdown, this one has a mint note that you can, that you can pick up on mixed in with the spices and the vanilla. Does it smell good? Yes, it does. Does it smell better than this? If I'm being 1000% honest with you, I prefer this. I prefer the Cremos, Spice, Spice and Black Vanilla. I have to make sure I'm getting the name right because y'all know I will mispronounce something. And there are people who only watch our videos to critique us and point out stuff. So I have to make sure you do things and pronounce things right or people get all bent out of shape. Nonetheless, for the money, for the money, for those of you who have been curious, because, and, and I'm not knocking any of your other favorite reviewers, I'm not, because those guys do a great job, they work hard, I'm happy for them. The difference is I make my living elsewhere, and some of them do too, but I don't get paid from these companies to, to tell you how great a fragrance is and not tell you about alternatives. So is JPG's Elixir, um, Lamal Elixir, is it a great fragrance? Yes. Is it a must have fragrance in your collection? Well, that's subjective. But if you feel like it is a must have fragrance or if you've smelled it and you're like, man, I need to save up my pennies and get that, don't bother. Go to Walmart and pick up Spice and Black Vanilla. Yeah, Spice and Black Vanilla by Cremo. That's, I'm just, are they one-to-one? -one? No. Are they about 90% the same? In my opinion, yes. They will give you the exact same vibe. I don't think anybody's gonna smell this on you and go, that doesn't smell good. You're wearing Cremo, that stinks. This is a nice, 
fragrance and it smells really, really good. And the two are, dare I say, eerily similar. I'm not saying who copied who. I think this was out first. But what I'm telling you is, Vanilla is a major player in both of them. This one just hits it on the head and says Spice and Black, uh, black Vanilla. This one doesn't. But off of your skin, It's not going to be a little, it's not going to be, but just a little bit of a difference. This one comes across as a little bit more creamy than this one. This one is a little bit more minty where this one is creamy. Just saying, to my nose, for my taste, I prefer the Cremo Spice and Black Vanilla over the John Paul Gaultier um Le Mans elixir and again i'm not saying that this is a bad fragrance at all because i think it is a good fragrance i think it is solid so all those reviewers that said this smelled good they would be correct but i'm wondering how many of them has ever smelled this because this is just not in their wheelhouse it's just not on their radar and that's why you tune into guys like myself to tell you about fragrances like this so you can spend 20 bucks and smell like you spent 150. Now, I'm just saying that's my opinion and I'll tell you Cremo has a really good reputation and if you can find the shower gel of this to go with this you I think you're really going to do yourself a favor because the truth of the matter is you can buy a lifetime supply of this for what you can one bottle of this you can literally buy five to six seven bottles of this for what you can this and if you find this the cremo at somewhere like burlington or uh, marshall's or tj maxx you're going to pay 14 12 to 14 dollars for it if you have to get it from um, walgreens or walmart you're going to play closer to 20 but at 20 dollars this is a steal and again, are they twins? Are they identical? No. This one actually may be a little bit stronger and perform a little bit better because I sprayed them on at the same time and this one is dying down quicker than the Cremo. I'm just being honest with you. So, my thoughts on the new John Paul Gaultier Le Mans Elixir, I think it's a great scent. I do, I think it's a great scent. Will I be buying it? No, I won't. No, I won't. Not until I catch it on Macari or discounters or somewhere really, really, really cheap. Will I be paying full price for it? Absolutely not. Why? Because I have this. And again, are they twins? Are they the exact same? No. But I, when I tell you that this is 90 to 95% of this, again, amp up the creaminess, and the mint, and that's the biggest difference. This one it has that, that mint note you're gonna pick up on, and this one goes creamy. Minty, creamy. That's it. Fancy can, fancy bottle, fancy packaging, plastic with a basic box, basic bottle, but the scent profile. That's good. I really suggest you go out and pick this up perfect time of the year to wear it all right that's it guys that is all i got i told you i wasn't gonna hold you again big shout out to my homeboy mr luster echoes for hooking me up with that i've been so curious about that john paul gotel um the mall elixir i don't have to be curious about it anymore and i'm glad to get this content out to you well you know about three videos we're going back to back to back baby three p but Nonetheless, I think you should buy fragrances according to your budget and your price range. And um, $150 is hard for me to turn it loose for one fragrance. But um, for those of you who have been contemplating getting the Lamal Elixir, listen to me now. Believe me later on. Go out and get the Cremos Spice and Black Vanilla. If you don't like it, you can take it back or you can gift it. You're only out 20 bucks. But if you like that, John Paul Gaultier Elixir, you're going to like the Cremo. That's my thoughts. That's my two cents. But anyway, 
Or should I say three cents? Because it's your boy Trey Cents. Three, get it? You like that little word? But yeah, you like that. But anyway, guys, listen, I love you all. May God bless you all. Again, um, if you want a decant of this Cremo, I'll ship you out one for a little or nothing. Uh, yeah, that'll be that. Yeah, a little or nothing. If you just want to try that Cremo before you buy it, you're more than welcome to. But listen, I got to get off of here because I just got off work. So I'm going to edit this quick little video and get it out to you. If you know anything about either one of these fragrances, please, please let me know in the comments below. And always be sure to like, share, and uh, if you haven't already subbed. With that being said, I'm going to jump off here. I love you all and may God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Deuces.